Hello dear knitters, today I would like to show you two styles of knitting that exist in Russia and they are called classical and grandma style. So I will start with classical way, just cast on as you are used to or watch my previous video if you are a beginner. So I will just make around 10 stitches, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we will start with a classical way. Take a long tail, put on your index finger, and then the first stitch we never need. We just put it on our needle as it is, and continue with the second stitch. Insert your needle. This way, I show you closer, yarn over and pull through this loop. Insert, yarn over, pull through the loop and release the loop on the needle. As you can see, it's a very easy way to knit. And the last stitch, you just uh, purl it. Uh, to purl, you put your working yarn on the needle, take your needle and make a twisted move, grab the yarn and pull through the loop on the needle and release. So now I show you again how to make purl stitches. The first one, as usual, you just take on your yarn or on your needle without purling and tighten to make a smooth edge. Now put your working yarn on the needle, wrap the yarn and pull through the loop. It's called classical pearl stitch in Russian. And the last stitch we purl as well. So here we have our knit stitches and here are the purl stitches. And the second row you go on the same way, just take the first loop, first stitch, put on your needle. Insert, and you see you get the easy knit stitches. The pearl stitches are considered a bit hard in classical way, and many knitters substitute it with the grandma style. Put again, keep the yarn on your needle and pull through. So they are perfect knit stitches. And now I show you grandma style. Show you the next method or way. It's called grandma method. So Grandma's method is very easy and many knitters love it, but some argue that it's not as pretty as classical. You will see by yourself. 
So as usual, you just uh, take the first stitch without knitting, tighten it, and here you must work with the back loop only. So just grab the back loop and always work with the back loop. Just put yarn over and pull through this loop. Sometimes it's better to start the first row with classical way because the front loop is closer and it's easier. But still, those who love just grandma method use it from the very first row. And here we love our pearl stitch because it's very easy. Put the yarn and pull it through the loop. You got your pearl stitch. Now I show you pearl stitches again. So as usual, skip the first loop, first stitch, and now just pull this yarn move it here and pull through this loop show you closer and you see your pearl stitches Very easy, easier than in a classical way. And now I show you the, sorry, my yarn is too twisted now. Okay. I show you the knit stitches again. First stitch, tighten a bit and Take the back loop, yarn over, and pull through this loop. It's very fast and easy way. As you can see, you get the same neat stitches. And the pearl stitch at the last. So here are all pearl stitches. Take, put the yarn in front, insert, grab and pull the yarn through the loop. These are the knit stitches. Take the first stitch, insert the needle, and I think you can already see clearly the knit stitches and the purple stitches. Sometimes uh, some knitters prefer to use knit stitches from classical way and pearl stitches from grandma way. I guess you can understand why, because they are faster and easier to make. But the main thing in knitting, it depends if you want twisted stitches or non-twisted. So. If you want twisted stitches, 
you must always take the loop that is further to you like here i have the uh the two loops back which is further if you can notice and front which is easier to pick up it's hard to reach the back loop it's easier to take the front so if you make with the front loop you will get non-twisted knit stitch or purl stitch but if you work with the back loop it will be twisted so it depends on the pattern and the result you want to achieve here are the purl stitches just wanted to give you a quick tip about the anatomy of the stitch in knitting front and back if you are a beginner so if you want smooth non-twisted stitches just use the loop that is closer to you and if you want twisted use the one that is a bit further one step and uh, if i change this loop and i put it that way that the front uh, the back loop is closer to me you can do another purl stitch this way now the back loop is closer so i can just grab the needle and insert into the back loop so working yarn insert and make a purl stitch that stitch is often used in circular knitting but it's just uh, a tip for beginners so if you have a back loop that is uh, closer to you just put the yarn in front and pull through and you get the pearl stitch okay that's it for today i hope you learned to styles of knitting and you can choose the one you prefer thanks for watching and see you again next time